The Stockholm School of Economics is a private business school located in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. SSC has been creating opportunities for its graduates for over 100 years. Welcome to episode 8, MSc Life at SSC. I'm here with uh, Joanne Tsin. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, you're a <laughs> master's student? Yes, I'm a master's student in the economics program. Yeah. Um, do you want to get grab a fika? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's go. Welcome. Come with. So, Joanne Tsin, please tell me how, what do you think about master's life at SSC? Uh, uh, as for me, you know, I study most of my time in Stockholm. Um, so, I think that uh, you know, at SSC, uh, the study life is a little well, it's more intense than, than I had in China. Oh, uh, more intense than in China? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, for example, there are two periods in each uh, semester term. And uh, uh, that you need to study um, when you finish your study. Then you need to finish the examination immediately. That uh, means that you didn't have a lot of time to revise what you have learned in that period. Yeah. But in China, you know, I uh, have um, maybe one or two weeks to go through that what I have studied before. So in this sense, I think it is that is very intense for me. Um, so what do you think about the social life as a master's student? Okay, social life, you know, I have saw that uh, there are a lot, more, uh, a lot of parties that were held by the student association. That is totally new for me because I, um, I have not attended. Uh, I have not attended this kind of party uh, before. Um, but uh, what I really enjoy is to go uh, go to, to a trip with my friends together. I think I will be more interested in that. Uh, um, I enjoy uh, uh, this kind of uh, kind of entertainment uh, and uh, active activity. Nice. We're going to check in with Aidan. Um, he's actually checking the temperature with some other fellow master students. See what they're up to. Yeah, sure. Come on in. So, student life, super relevant for all of us, super big part of the university experience. So here we have Fred. Uh, nice to see you. Hey, man. Um, where are you now? Um, here. So, we're, we're in Wutsta. It's one of the main student residences in, uh, at SSC. Um, as you can see, I've got a small room at the residence. I tried to make it a little bit more cozy. I, I got uh, some plants. I also got my guitar, um, but this, this room actually makes me go out more. So I spend most of my time at uh, the university, um, just either studying or hanging out with people. Um, so yeah. Cool. And um, what about you? So you're a master's student, where are you from? Yeah, uh, so I'm from Portugal. Uh, I just came here two months ago, never been in Stockholm. Uh, and I'm studying a master's in finance. Uh, which I, I think it's a very good course for what I want to do in my life. Uh, and yeah, so far no regrets. Cool. Um, and one question. So tell me, what, what's your morning routine? What do you do in the morning when you wake up? Okay, so since it's the winter, the first thing I do is uh, getting up. I take my vitamin D, uh, which is something very popular uh, here in the Nordic countries. Um, I just take a shower, eat a breakfast and go straight away to, to school. Cool. Let's have a look. Hey, hey, hey what's then. up, Joe? How are you? Cool. Actually, I have your friend of mine, but ah, he's Portuguese. Ah, uh, hi, Fred. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, we just we just came by. Oh. Um, so yeah, uh, we're in Hibbert uh, still, but why don't you tell me where are we right now? We are in uh, my room, 
This is like a, a bit bigger than Fred. Mm -hmm. As uh, uh, it's, I have a kitchen, a bathroom, uh, and of course this is my living area, which combines ba uh, bath and uh, and also living room. Nice. And um, I mean, you you are a master student as well. What what do you do? I I'm doing finance. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I love the topic and I decided to come to SSC because there's great academia, uh, I, I like the courses, actually I must say that when making the choices bet between coming here and other places, I really enjoy SSC and Filter and it was a big part of my decision, I like the vibe, I like the show and also it motivated me to come to this beautiful city. Oh nice, well that's a compliment for us I guess. Um, but, but one quick question, like, uh, what do you think you do, or what do you do right now to stay balanced on top of everything? Yeah, sure, uh, SSC is challenging, it's a lot of coursework in the masters, so I try to do my work, but never uh, say the touch of people that I hang out with, do sports, go to the gym, also engage in sassy activities, if you do all this, it might seem too much, but it's the best way to stay in shape and stay sharp. Awesome. Hello hey, then. Hey. Come on in. Just hanging out for a few masters, friends. Very nice. So, um, James, tell me, tell me about yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm James. Mm -hmm. I'm from the UK. I also do masters in finance, like these two guys. Um, yeah. Lovely. Uh, and I guess we're uh, still in here with some, and another example of a nice room. Yeah. So, um, uh, one, one question here, uh, on weekends, you know, uh, school's out, what do you uh, tend to do? Uh, when it's summer, like, I mean, the one thing I love about Stockholm is it's surrounded by water. So, I love to just go for a swim, or go find a nice beach for my friends, just, just relax. But now it's getting a bit colder, uh, usually like, maybe go for a fika, or just hang out, or go for a nice hike, because there's so many nature reserves around Stockholm. Just to, like, enjoy like weather like this, it's beautiful, just hang out. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Housing is difficult in the city. Students that don't go for housing to SSC usually opt to get their own apartment somewhere in, around, or close to Stockholm. So guys, uh, where are we heading now? Uh, yeah, like near your Wutsta, there's a, a water park, there's a river, so we can go for a, a swim there. Uh, and there's also a really beautiful area that uh, we sometimes hang out when there's a, a bit of sun. Cool. So guys, I'm going to do some rapid fire questions now. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Coffee or tea? Tea. Coffee. Tea. Cool. Night in or night out? Night in. Oh, well, night out. Yeah, night out. Uh, Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Instagram for sure. Same, Instagram. Snow or sand? <laughs> sand. Also sand. Uh, snow. Econ or finance? I'd say econ. Finance is better. Finance. Finally, land or sea? Land. <laughs> I'd rather have the sea. Hmm. Financial context. The opportunity cost between land or sea. Sea! Woo. James, you know it's November! <laughs> <laughs> At SEC, it's important that everyone feels comfortable on campus and fairly treated with respect. Hi Carol, Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Manager at SSE. Hey, come on in. Welcome to my office. Well, I wish it was my office. We're in room 120 with the fire going, which we need, you know, it's kind of November now, keep ourselves warm. Yeah, yeah good to see you. Hey, everybody. Um, so we have a few questions for you here, 7.3 questions. I have a seat. 
So, um, first we can ask, what is your favorite place in Stockholm? My favorite place in Stockholm, it's actually, uh, it's called like the Mountain Street. It's above, above Slussen. Uh, so you can walk up above there and then you can have a view over the whole city. You have like the old town and you can see into the north part of the city and then the amusement park, Grönalund, which I also really like. But it's, it's a beautiful place. Amazing, amazing. And uh, what does diversity and inclusion mean to you, considering it, I guess? Part of your job. Exactly, yeah. Well, you know, there, uh, there's this famous quote from this woman named Verna Myers, uh, who always said that uh, diversity is being invited to the party, inclusion is being asked to dance. Uh, and I really like that, uh, but I would like to build on that and say, and equity is being on the planning committee. So it basically means that, you know, everyone can come here, everyone feels like they can express themselves, they have the power to participate, uh, they're, they're able to be their full selves while they're here at SSE. So that's my job. That's what I want to be doing. Amazing. And, Come on, uh, let's go out. We heard that uh, you were in the U.S. before you were here. That's correct. Yeah, I'm originally from California. Yeah, and we so were wondering... So, the uh, Swedish winter. <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering if you uh, missed the U.S. Well, you know, to be honest, there's not a lot of it that I miss. Uh, but one of the things I do really miss, having come from California and grown up on, on a little farm, is uh, the fruits and vegetables. I really miss that, you know, being able to go out and pick a cantaloupe and immediately eat it for breakfast. Or, you know, pick some, some corn or, or some grapes right off the vine or something like that. But, uh, but now I've been in Sweden so long that I feel like this is the, this is the place where I'm going to spend the rest of my life. So we'll see. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. And, uh, well, now that you are in, in Stockholm, you've been here for a while, uh, maybe you could say what's your favorite place to get fika? My favorite place to get fika? Well, if we're thinking about close to SSE, uh, I'm not a big fan of Espresso House. I don't like the big chains. Uh, but rather, I really like this Cafe Nero that's directly across the street. Uh, and I like it because they're always really friendly. Uh, when you go in in the morning, they have like classical music playing. Uh, they play jazz in the afternoon. It's kind of a cozy environment. They have a little fireplace there as well. Uh, so I like that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the fika is really expensive in, in Stockholm. So that is unfortunate. I wish we had some cheaper fika that would fit, fit uh, people's uh, wallets a little bit more. But that's a nice place. Amazing. And uh, what do you usually do on weekends then, besides maybe getting fika? Besides getting fika, well, I really like to uh, hang out uh, uh, in our garden. Uh, my wife and I have a garden that we take care of. Uh, we sometimes go for walks in the forest, something like that, walks with the dog. Uh, but then also, one of my favorite things to do is uh, softball. It's a, a sport that is kind of like baseball. Uh, for Swedes, I uh, sometimes say it's like really, really advanced brennball, which is this game that you play here in Sweden as well. Uh, so I used to play it, but now I'm an umpire. So, so I'm often, especially during the summer, on a softball field somewhere, umpiring a softball game. Very cool. And uh, last question is, do you have a fixed time for waking up? I do. The alarm clock on week weekdays anyway it it rings at six o'clock and then i'm i'm a snoozer so you know it's you know hitting it a few times so maybe getting up around 6 30 ish uh and then on weekends you know the worst thing i could possibly do is forget to turn the alarm off because then i want to really sleep in mm -hmm. but yeah around 6 6 30. i think that's still inspiring for some <laughs> but, uh, yeah but that's uh all that we uh have here so thank you very much for being with us and um, yeah, I suppose have a nice day. Great, good to see you. See you all around. See you at school. Bye. Hey, Hi. you're back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I forgot one question. It's oh, very okay, important. Uh, what is something that you'd like to see more of at SSC? Oh, what do I want to see more of? How much time do you have? You have all day? Uh, I just want to see more of all of you. Uh, I'm so happy, and now I'm really going to look in the camera, look at all of you. I'm so happy that we're back on campus. Uh, so I want to see more of you, and I want to see more of your authentic selves. So be crazy, you know, dress however you want, act however you want, bring all your friends, whatever. I, let's make SSE really a place that looks just like the rest of, of Sweden, the rest of Stockholm, the rest of the world. So I want to see more of that here. 
yeah. inspirational. Thank you so much. Hope so, yeah. yeah. Sorry for uh, coming back in again. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I was just going to have a seat by the fire, so. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, you. take care. Bye-bye, everybody.